I question because I know that they're fake. If I had to guess, so when I look at this physique and when I look at the way that the skin lays on the muscle and the way the muscle sits and the, the fact that there's no lumpiness, there's no nothing, I would What's up guys, Derek from ourplaysmartaids.com. Today, we're gonna to be talking a bit about uh, another YouTube channel, Fouad Abiyad. So he is a IFBB Pro um, bodybuilder, pretty successful one too, and he has a big YouTube channel that is uh, um, popping off lately. It's doing very well, and I actually do watch here and there, and I've been uh, told by numerous individuals for the past several months now that intermittently, comments are dropped about me on his channel there's a guy uh i think his youtube is and i'll plug him because he seems like a nice guy some of the other guys yeah. are fucking d-bags but uh more plates more dates or something like that that's his yeah. you that's his youtube yeah uh, but i mean i mean i i'm one he of my came out he, he came out with a whole like hour-long video kind of going through everything we talked about yeah which is great so going as back far as october obviously you know, of what he had seen on my channel, I guess he, uh, you know, thought it was good content or, you know, didn't think it was uh, too shitty of a uh, channel, I guess. But um, moving forward into, you know, 2020, his uh, tone starts to change a bit. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say the video. So there's a guy on YouTube, I'm not going to name the name, but he creates these videos. Uh, you guys are probably going to know. And he's, a nice, I'm sure he's a nice guy. But this is the part that blows my mind. He's creating videos and they say like, this is what the rock cycle is, or this is what, this is what I think this guy did. This guy, this is what I think this guy's cycle is. And I'm like, how can you tell? How can you tell what that guy's doing? Like Luke, you're a pro. Can you look at a physique and, and just be like, oh, I know, I know what sauce he's taking. Oh, like I just, it, it just blew But this guy's get like, I, it is a thing. I still, no, no, I still, but these videos get like a hundred thousand. Well, I know. And look, I just want to say, I, I want to say this. I want to preface it with this. Okay. The guy's channel and you guys can check it out. It's not a bad channel. The guy's channel is more plates, more plates, more dates or some shit, which is kind of a cool name, but he actually seems very intelligent and he has some really, really good videos on his channel. But those ones, I just don't understand. Like, I, uh, this is what I think The Rock's taking. This is what I think so-and-so is taking. And I'm like, it doesn't, why does it matter? Like, how can you figure it out is what my question is. But I wonder why 100,000 people watch that. Like, they just believe him. You know what I mean? Like, why would, like, they even, the thing even says, like, in his videos, I watched a couple. They even say, like, you know, I don't really know for sure, but I think this is what he's doing. And I'm like, why am I watching this then? Well, that's what he ends up saying. He ends up saying that. He, he's always looked pretty good and he's probably natural and blah, blah. And that's fine. Awesome. That's, it's, it's not about that. What it's about is how do you, if you don't actually know, why is anybody watching the video? That's what I'm curious about. Why would, like if somebody came over the video and said, I know Luke Stack, it's just crazy. to So that's my, my biggest pet peeve in the industry is that. So, you know, obviously tune is changing a bit to my channel. Um, I guess he's seen some of it. He thinks it's good content, but he's sort of not a big fan of the clickbait style videos, which is totally fine. And I can completely get on board and understand that. And it's his biggest pet peeve, apparently, which is what uh, first came to my attention. A lot of people said, did you hear about Fouad's biggest pet peeve? And I was like, oh shit, I guess I'll go, I'll go check it out. Give me the timestamp, check that out. And I've been seeing, you know, <laughs> hearing through the grapevine of me popping up here and there. And, um, the thing that I think is blatantly obvious that I, you know, not really comprehending that he was missing this whole time is the point that like clickbait style videos are designed in a way to bring somebody in to ideally funnel them into your actual intelligent content. So something that is intentionally created, despite it not being a true reflection of your actual, maybe what you believe is your good content is designed to be mass appealing to bring people in and hopefully attract them to your content that is what you actually want to make as a creator essentially and you know will uh you know reflect the actual information you're trying to portray to people and the thing you're trying to you know educate about the thing you're trying to inspire about the thing you're trying to do whatever and that's exactly what these videos are for like i don't enjoy i it's not my favorite thing to do these videos like i just put one up one day because somebody asked and i noticed it blew up and did well i was like oh well, i guess maybe i should try it again blew up maybe i should try it again blew up people keep requesting them hundreds of people ask me to do them what am i going to say fuck off obviously not i'm going to do them and frankly there is some level of educated guessing 
obviously, but it still takes somewhat of a trained eye, I guess, to extrapolate some of these you know, guesstimates here, like seeing somebody has a certain body composition that reflects X use or whatever. And the entertainment component is the main draw of it. Like a lot of people that would otherwise not give a flying fuck about bodybuilding pharmacology or anything to do with, you know, anything, what's going to bring them in? Is it going to be talking about, you know, why, you know, androgen receptors interact with this downstream to cause this cascade of events and blah, blah, blah. No, they're going to want to see like, what did fucking Chris Hemsworth do to pack on 30 pounds for Thor? That's what they want to see. So if it takes me doing a video like that, which has mainstream appeal to bring them in to actually see my other stuff and then perhaps get interested in what my channel is essentially really about, that's totally fine with me because a lot of people are going to, it's going to be a very polarizing video, which frankly, most videos that go viral are. You usually see the like to dislike ratio is always the worst on the videos that blow up. And to be honest, like I don't see it as a whole lot different than, um, you know, like 10,000 calorie eating challenges. Some of this like crazy shit you're doing. Like, obviously you're not trying to promote that to your viewers, I would think. And like Fouad's done these crazy eating challenges and stuff and like no shit, he's not trying to tell his viewers like go slam like 50 burgers and like put yourself in a food coma, almost have like a fucking heart attack from eating a bunch of shitty food and bloating up with 15 pounds of water weight overnight. No, he's not trying to, but he's doing it because he knows it gets views and maybe he got paid to do it by whatever that channel is that makes people binge eat and those bodybuilder like binge eating videos. I don't know, but they're entertaining as fuck. So people watch them. That's why people do 10,000, 20,000 calorie challenges all the time. And that's totally fine because the whole point is to draw you in to your actual content that reflects what you're actually trying to put out to your, you know, dedicated fans. And hopefully the mainstream that kind of pours into your video that sort of funnels through some of those become your mainstream fans that are actually interested in your you know, bodybuilding knowledge, your, you know, nutrition knowledge, your training knowledge, all that stuff that Fouad talks about. That's the whole reason you make those videos in the first place. And it's interesting to me though, because, you know, like most people who watch my stuff are very aware that that's the purpose of those videos. It's not that I enjoy, you know, talking about the pharmacology behind celebrity steroid cycles, which frankly, it's pretty obvious that if they're lying about it, I'm pretty. they're pretty much putting themselves on a platform to be blasted in my opinion. Like you're not eating six, six meals a day, chicken, rice, and broccoli, and I'm training four hours a day. Bro, like we've heard the same excuse a million times and we know that you took fucking gear. So like, I think the floor is open for anybody to speculate about what you may or may not have done because it's extremely misleading to the public who sees your transformations and then assumes that, oh, like if I just train like them, I can do this too. And buys your fucking like training app or your stupid program or your, you know, get buff like fucking Superman thing or whatever the celebrity is that's selling something, Chris Hemsworth or something. You know, like there's a lot of celebrities that even like market fitness content, even though they <laughs> blow up on fucking sauce, like 30 pounds for a roll. And um, this was kind of like the peak of, uh, you know, Fouad being fed up with my videos, apparently, right here. Like, that guy, uh, more dates, more plates, or whatever the fuck he, his name is. That guy's, that, guy, that guy's over there guessing everybody's stack. He's just guessing out of thin air. Like, I think The Rock does this, and I think this guy does this. And I'm like... I hope someone does me. <laughs> so, obviously, at this point, Fouad's sick of seeing these videos, and I'm pretty sure the only videos he actually watches of my content are probably those, which is kind of ironic considering he always says, I don't know why people watch those, but he still fucking watches them and then he complains about them. But the most ironic thing I thought was when this video came out the other day and this was brought to my attention, Athlean X, is there more to it than just fake weights? Question mark. Fouad Abiyad and Ben Chow. So from here, Fouad goes deep on Jeff Cavalier about what he may or may not be on based on his perceived body composition and what he looks like. And I just, I couldn't help but shake my head. I'm like, dude, like I have never commented on this. And you know, I've had so many people message me about the comments being brought up about, you know, Fouad's talking shit. And it's like, yeah, like I don't, I would expect people to talk shit about those videos to be honest, because they're kind of designed in a way to be polarizing and bring people in and get them, you know, talking and get, you know, high numbers of views. That's the whole fucking point of them. And I thought that was blatantly obvious, but here he goes and basically does the exact same fucking thing. The bigger question to me is this. If you have an ego that needs to lie about just these two extra plates that are right here, right? 
Mm-hmm. One of his things that he's constantly claiming is that he's supernatural. He's never touched anything. He doesn't, I think he doesn't even take supplements. I don't, I don't know for sure, but yeah, maybe does that mean we're questioning that now too? Right. Yeah. And this is my point. I don't care whether he's lifting fake plates or not. I care whether he's undermining himself, right? I now discredit everything he's going to perpetuate, whether it's true or not, I question because I know that they're fake. If I had to guess, so when I look at this physique and when I look at the way that the skin lays on the muscle and the way the muscle sits and the, the fact that there's no lumpiness, there's no nothing, I would not assume that he's on steroids. Like nothing, nothing about the way, there's no water retention, there's no, nothing about the way he looks says that he's on steroids. But the problem I'm, I'm having is if you're going to lie about something so trivial as adding these two extra plates, why would you not, you know, maybe you're lying about that too. Yeah, so if you're going to lie about something as trivial as putting on the two extra plates, why would you lie about being natural? Is that not the same fucking thing as a celebrity trying to come across as natural? Like their transformation was totally achievable naturally and they just put in super hard work and trained six hours a day and ate six meals of broccoli and fucking rice and chicken and it was all you know hard work and i had 16 personal trainers the most highly touted trainers in the world that are the fucking best and they helped me and that's why i gained 47 pounds of fucking lean tissue in six months no dude it's the exact same thing so well i know plenty of guys that are around his build that say they're natural and they take orals, for instance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so they wouldn't have they wouldn't have like, the lumpiness and everything like that. That's right. Yeah, and, and and you know, I know good. You know the WBFF. Yeah, I know a lot of those guys do oral only cycles. I see. So this and guy, they have, that, they have that dry look all the time. If they're running like a ton of anavar, they have round delts. I mean, and they're dry. And they, they stay full and they stay lean. So that's uh, what, you know what? I never even considered that. Cause I always considered when you look at somebody, when they're on, you're always going to see a little bit of water retention. You're going to see a little bit of lumpiness to the muscle. You're going to see like little, little signs here and there. I never considered that this could just be straight anabar. So imagine looking at a physique and trying to interpret what they may or may not have taken based on the body composition, based on their dryness and based on how capped their delts are and where the greatest density of androgen receptors is in the body or any other kind of factor you can extrapolate from looking at them that may give you a conclusion that's an educated guess about what he may or may not have taken to look the way he does. Does it seem so ridiculous now? I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, I know at least eight to 10 pretty decent physique muscle models, muscle models there in the WBFF category. That's their like bigger physique guys, right? They're like 220 pounds on stage. They have the tiny, tiny waist, good shoulders, some decent legs. They're running the Anavar only. And I'm talking like one, a friend of mine, I'm not going to name him. He won his WBFF pro card, oops, sorry. He won his w, WBFF pro card running 150 milligrams of Anavar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I, mean, I wonder. Are, I wonder if these plates are even real. Because well, that's you, a lot of, well, that's, because if you look at the beginning of this video, he kind of picks this up like it's you know that's two twenty five. Well, not two twenty five because I don't know that the hex bar weighs, but it's at least forty five pounds. That bar. that doesn't look like his muscle is straining enough for two plates on either side of that. No, and the way he did the ab roll out looked too comfortable to me. Like I mean, these, these might not be completely like, I don't know what they weigh. They might weigh 15 pounds instead of 45. I don't know what they are. I don't know what these are supposed to weigh. I don't know if these are supposed to be 45s. But, but you know, like, you know, who so, Blessing, right? Yeah. So Blessing's the, he's a Redcon one bodybuilder. He's a bit of a Instagram personality. He uses fake plates, but he doesn't hide it. Like he, there's that, he did incline bench on his couch with five plates aside, but they were fake plates. Right. And he's doing stupid reps with it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's different. There's okay. There's a difference between, uh, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing it for, to get a laugh out of you. I'm doing it for a photo shoot. Uh, I'm doing it for just personal for advertisement. I'm not trying to lie to anybody. Everybody knows this is fake. That's different. That's different than that video that I showed is about it. This video is about how to lift heavy. So you're essentially saying like, this is what I can lift and I'm going to teach you how to lift this much, but you can't lift that because these two plates are fake. Yeah. I mean, so, it's like, me, it's so like it's, me doing a video on how to be a vegan. I've got no business doing that. 
Yeah, I just don't understand. And then, but the, the, like I said, the further question is, is you've told all these people now that you're natural. And I'm like, okay, but you lied to them about the fucking weights you lift. Why, why would we assume that you're not lying about yeah. your drug use? And honestly, and people could be like, well, you use fucking drugs. Why are you talking? Because we're honest about it. Anybody who's listened to my podcast knows that me and whatever guest we have on is usually open about, you know, what we've used, you know, how much we've used, like we're not, but that's part of being real. Like I, well, I, if it, I if think they don't go into detail, if they don't go into specific doses, detail, at least they're open to say, yes, they do. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 And I think, I think that's the biggest thing. Like just be fucking real. Like I think this guy offers a ton of information to people. Th those 10 million subscribers, I, like I said, I think they're all normal people. They probably don't know where to get good information on training and diet. And I think he's probably giving them that, which is great, but just why fucking lie? And then the other thing is the only part that could suck is if he's not natural and he's got a whole bunch of people believing he is, that's kind of shitty. Cause now you're like, okay, you got this ripped, but did you get this ripped because of what you're telling us? Or did you get this ripped because you're doing something you're not telling us now? Exactly. You just made my point, dude. This is where all of the celebrity videos come from that I make the speculations on. So not only are they perhaps a bit clickbait and designed to get views and funnel people in to watch what I would consider to be the content I actually really enjoy making about actual deep dives into research, deep dives into my own personal experiences, things that I feel would benefit people from many different aspects, not just, you know, nutrition, diet, training, um, um, bodybuilding, pharmacology, whatever. I have a more diverse channel than that, but that's one of my main focuses. But still, the whole point is to bring them in and to educate them with my transparency and with my knowledge, not, and bring to their attention shit like this. When you have celebrities who blatantly lie on camera all the time and say, like how many have admitted to taking gear? Like almost none, even though the significant majority of them very, very, very likely took something at least acutely to prepare for their roles and they go way out of their way to pretend like they did nothing. And some of them even sell fucking plans that are based around their fitness that they, you know, their plans that their coach had them do or whatever to get their physiques for fucking movie roles and stuff like that. And like, to me, that's super disingenuous and it is stuff that should be called out. And it's just like, it's even worse than the, it's like the, the fake natty thing, like all that kind of stuff. It's like with the celebrities, it's just on a grander scale and it's more mass appealing. And Jeff Cavalier might as well be a celebrity. The guy's like over 10 million subscribers. Doing this video is no different, dude. Like the title too, is it more than just fake weights? Question mark. Like clearly we're questioning his natty status here and we're blatantly trying to figure out what he took based on his body composition. So welcome to the dark side of YouTube content, Fouad. This is the clickbait content that you don't like. So anyways, I actually enjoy his channel to be honest. And um, I actually debated making this video. I was like, do I want to, I'm not even trying to start shit. I just wanted to, uh, you know, I've, I've let all this stuff boil over to be honest. And it's not like it even bothered me because frankly, I have, I share opinions of people who talk shit about those videos to some extent. I don't necessarily think they are overly informative in any capacity. They are very, you know, broad overview, trying to guess certain things that are based on, you know, at least I pull out what I consider to be a high level of knowledge and extrapolate it to try and apply it to the situation. Whereas the average person would just can't even figure out if the guy took gear or not. And I try to make it as entertaining as possible and intertwine as much science as I can. But at the end of the day, they're there for a reason and I make them for a reason. And it certainly isn't to put out what I consider to be my high quality <laughs> level science backed content. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, Fouad actually has a super cool channel to be honest. So you should check him out. He has a lot of uh, actual like practical advice for diet and training and things that apply in, you know, like hordes of experience too. The guy's been in the sport for, you know, decades now and he is a very successful pro. So if you can learn something from a top bodybuilder in uh, the IFBB. If there's not many IFBB pro open bodybuilders who openly talk about what they do, as well as interview other bodybuilders and try to ask actual good questions that allow you to learn rather than just try and guess based on, 
you know, some fucking magazine article or based on some bullshit video they put out about, you know, how their uh, deep tissue massage is the reason why their fucking delts blew up over the last two years. That kind of stuff is, he has a great channel, so check it out. And um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, see more content that isn't based on clickbait shit because I do produce it here and there. And um, when it's up, I think it's very, very good. So if you want to get uh, deep dives into bodybuilding pharmacology, um, health, longevity, um, anything that I do my posts on, I recommend you subscribe. If you want to check out the uh, podcast link, it's in the description below for iTunes or Spotify or wherever you listen. If you prefer to listen rather than watch, um, if you want to support anything I'm associated with, it's in the video description below. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, wherever I am. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.